this is Coach Curtis, and this video is about penalty kill. Okay, this video starts with a 5-on-4 situation where we have just iced the puck, and now we're 4-checking in the other team's end. Just as if it was 5-on-5, five five, the first forward is 4-checking hard on the puck. However, the main difference being that this forward cannot let the defense skate past him, creating a five-on-three situation behind him. The defenseman stops with the puck behind the net. We stand out front and make sure that that defenseman does not skate up the ice with the puck. We force him to pass it. Second forward stays high in the zone in the middle and reads the play. Once the defenseman passes the puck, we hustle and forecheck on that player. Notice the defensemen are both inside the blue line as well. The key to this lineup is that the front forward back checks hard to the middle of the ice. Now we are in position to intercept any pass and also to keep all play towards the boards, not the middle. Okay, now we are defending in our own end and we are setting up a box formation. Our two forwards are high and our two defensemen are low. It is very important for everybody on the ice to play their position. For example, we don't want a forward deep in the corner and we don't want a defenseman high covering the point. We also don't want to be stick figures in our box formation. We want to be dynamic. As the puck moves from side to side, our box shifts from side to side. Our head is also on a swivel. We're checking to make sure we know where the opposition players are at all times. Our stick is in the passing lanes trying to cut off all the passes. And most importantly, if we get a chance, we are aggressive, hustle on the puck, and try to ice it as soon as possible. If we do all these things properly, player positions, one, we reduce the chances of them scoring on us, but two, we can frustrate them and also get very good offensive chances to score. Well, that's the end of this video. Go Bengals, go!